I'm Dr. Molly with Your Goals Physical Therapy. So many people have pain in their shoulder when they try to do a push-up. And for a lot of people, that ends up being the end of all push-ups forever, right? Because um, ultimately, people end up in one camp or another. You're either in the camp of that exercise hurts, I just don't do it, or you're in the camp of I'm going to push all the way through the pain because pain is just weakness, and I can make it through that. And so I tend to be a little bit more in the gray area. If you're in the camp that if you do a push-up and it just hurts and you stop, then you're missing out on all the benefits of doing the push-up. Push-ups are amazing exercises for bone um, strength in our arms, especially for us ladies. Um, as we get over the age of 30, our bone density becomes a problem. And so being able to do a push-up correctly helps us with that. Um, it also helps with shoulder stability and overall strength. I mean, let's face it, a push-up is essentially a moving plank. And planks are amazing for us also. So, but then if you're in the camp of, I'm just gonna push through it, those are the people that I end up seeing because they tore their rotator cuff or tore their pec muscle or some other catastrophic event occurred. And so I tend to take a little bit of a nuanced stance. If you're having shoulder pain, when you're doing a push-up, like your shoulder doesn't really bug you at all through the rest of the day. There's no major things that you notice that you can't do or that are limiting you because of your shoulder. And then every time you go down to do a push-up, you just have pain and it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like a natural thing for you to be doing. Then let's take, let's like explore that a little bit. It could just be that you have some strength problems. So how would you determine if it's just a strength problem, especially in your own home? Well, everybody's familiar with what the push-up's supposed to be. So let's just go over that just in case so we're all talking about the same thing. So a push-up, you start with your hands about your chest, uh, wide, excuse me, and, and in a line with your chest, and then you push yourself up from the floor. So everything should stay in a line, you go down, and you come up. Many, many people are familiar with initial modification, which is being on your knees, and then everything else is the same. And you just go down and then come back up. But there are other modifications. So if those two positions are still causing you trouble, and you wanna see if it's just an overall strength problem, then my suggestion is to try something that's higher. So that can be your cabinet, that could be a bench at the gym. If you're in a gym that has like a Smith machine, that has multiple levels, you can adjust the height of the bar and use that bar, but anything that gets you at an elevation. And what that would look like is the exact same thing. You're going to make sure that you're still in line with your chest, everything's set down, your, your back and everything is straight, you go down and you come up. But since you're in an elevated position, it's less work for your chest and your shoulder. So if you just have a strength problem, that would be a way to determine it. Now what happens if it's actually inside your joint? What do you do or how do you tell if you actually have something wrong inside your shoulder or something that's not okay? So let me give you a couple ways to check that. One, check your range of motion. So when you go up with your arms you know, out going by your side, if you go up, your shoulders shouldn't raise up. You shouldn't have to do this. So if you get to about here and everything's coming up with you, there's something going on in your shoulder. The other thing that people tend to have is if you're coming out to the side, again, it should be all separated. Like, it, like it's two different things moving, right? I have my shoulder, my arms moving, and then my shoulder kind of comes with it a little bit, but they are distinctly different. For some people, what you notice is you get this. And so as they get to about here, everything comes up with it. That would be a clear indication there's something going on in your shoulder. Something is not balanced and that needs to be looked at. That is what I help people do so that you can get back to push-ups, you can get back to the other things that are fun in the gym. Um, I help people problem solve why it is that their shoulder is starting to do this. There's always a reason and it's not always catastrophic. It doesn't mean that you have to have surgery. It doesn't mean you're gonna have years worth of therapy. It just means that there's some muscle imbalance and so with some stretching and some specific things that you can do at 
home or in a gym, you can get that shoulder to actually work correctly and get back to doing push-ups. So if that's the type of service that you're looking for or you have other questions about your specific problem with your shoulder, feel free to reach out to me. Also, if you're looking for an additional stretch just to see if maybe it's just your chest is a little bit tight, if you come back to my site, Friday I'm gonna be posting the do's and don'ts on how to do a proper stretch for your pec because so many people are doing that, you know, a little bit wrong. And so I'm going to show you how to do it correctly and get more bang for your buck. I hope this information helps. You have a great day.